So I think it's fair to say that TikTok is one of the most popular side hustles and social media platforms in 2023. And with high demand for content, there comes a high demand for creators. And if you want to be a creator yourself on platforms like these, you need to possess the specific skill set in order to succeed. And a big part of that involves editing. If you want to start off not putting out a ton of money on your content by hiring other people and edit your content yourself, you have to learn how to. And that's actually what I'm going to be doing in this video. I'm going to be explaining how you could edit professional content for TikTok for 100% free and for beginners you guys know that a lot of people use CapCut because it's free it's easy to use but the one thing that's missing on CapCut is the professionalism so that's why i'm going to be showing you guys from start to finish how you could use davinci resolve to edit. it's free it's reliable and it's professional looking i'm gonna have all the free presets down below in the description so make sure to go check those out if you want to follow along with me but like comment subscribe let's get right into it all right guys so we are inside of davinci resolve and like you guys can see i got some tiktok projects here that i use for my own stuff as well as channels that i manage but what we're gonna but what we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna be pressing new project here to get started up so we're gonna be titling this sample beginner TikTok tutorial something like that and we're just gonna type that out and press create now from there we're gonna go to the edit thing here we're gonna go to file we're going to go down to project setting and this is gonna be the number one step of this process you're gonna need to optimize the resolution and frame rate for TikTok so for TikTok the cool thing about DaVinci you literally can just press use vertical resolution and it automatically makes it for TikTok so we just go like this and then we'll change our timeline frame rate to 60 fps which changes the frame rate of the playback to 60 fps as well so everything else is good you can leave everything the way that it is that's pretty much that so we're just going to go to save now from there all we have to do is we have to locate our footage so if we're just doing talking head style it's super simple you will just have your background footage with you talking but if you have stuff where you need pop-ups and stock footage i'll get to that later in the video so for example these are one of my tiktoks right here so what we're going to do is I'm just going to drag in one of my recent ones. So we are going to do this one, for example. So we're just going to drag this in right here and it's going to prompt us. Do we want to change the frame rate? Normally this asks you this if your footage is like 59.64 or whatever the thing is, or 59.94 frames per second, or if it's 30 FPS or whatever, just press don't change. And then from there, what I'm going to do, it might be different for you guys, but for me, it is this way, unfortunately, because I do have a separate mic setup. It's it's hard to explain, but I have to get the background track that is my mic audio. So it should be this one. And then what I'm going to do is I just drag it in right here. And then what we'll do is we'll just drag it into our timeline. So if you guys just have the one track that'll have your audio that you're going to be using in this video, you're fine by just uh, dragging it in like here. But I actually need to line up the audio tracks to actually make it sound good. And I'm just going to get rid of this get rid of this and everything's good to go so that is that so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go through and you're going to do your cuts this is what i do i literally come through and i just make all my cuts so this tiktok is about uh why you should be using a ring light if you make content because why would you not so what we're going to do is we are going to utilize the blade tool so to use the blade tool all you have to do is press b on your keyboard or click on this button here and when we skim through anywhere we click on it cuts it and it turns it into its own little segment and then from there we can click on it delete it bring this over all that stuff do this bring it over literally it's the blade tool allows for us to actually cut down our clip so the first shortcut you guys are going to be learning is ripple delete and that is shift and delete at the same time so if we click on a layer we press shift and delete it gets rid of it and it brings the audio and the video over automatically which is really cool so what we're going to do is we're going to come through every point we don't talk we're just going to come through blade tool click 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 on it ripple delete the cool thing about davinci it shows the audio waveforms so i'm just literally going to come through like this and let's just say the tiktok ends here so we're going to do this that is literally how you cut it down if you want you can render it right there if you, all you need to do is cutting but now i'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually implement j cuts j cuts are actually overlaying the video the audio making it flow a lot better um but yeah so this is how you do it so we're going to drag the second layer right here and we're going to have this little segment overlapping so this is going to have it not using a ring light. ring light and that's that. And then for here, we're going to do this. We're going to right click on this, unlink it. And we're going to bring the video over. Ring light. Please, for the love of everything. So the reason why they call this a J cut is because technically it's like a J right here, but it's like not a J cut. It's just like an ring, overlay ring that I, in the way that I do it, but I just literally come through and I overlay an underlay and I'll just come through and do I don't know how some people the entire segment. And it will end up looking a little something like this instead of being straight 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's just pretty much the way that it goes. Um, but yeah, that's literally how you do cutting. Cutting is finished. That's all you need to do. And now we move on to the exciting stuff. Now next up, what I'm gonna be doing, like I mentioned before, I'm gonna be quickly showing you how you can import secondary footage in your second layer. So if you're doing stock footage, your website for this is pexels.com. So we're just going to go to pexels, full screen it, and we're gonna go to videos. Let's show an example that actually is relevant to the video. So let's look up ring light. Perfect. So we got a vertical one right here we're going to download this and we're going to let it download do its thing and then what we're going to do is we're going to drag it in and import it to that second video layer so we're just going to go like this drag it over top so let's just imagine this is literally the video by not using a ring light You're by not using a ring, ring light. light so this this shows that there's a ring light maybe if we want to we can just bring it over but that's literally how you import secondary footage and that is that now next up imagine that you have everything ready to go let's say you've added in secondary footage all throughout the video so you have like this here and then you have uh let's say this video here this guy getting angry let's just say you have you talking you talking you talking you talking and in between you have like these segments of different videos and pictures popping up the number one retention tool i think that works the best is slow zooms and i'm going to show you how to do this right now so we can see as this is being covered we want to have a zoom segment from here to here before this starts so what we're going to do is we're going to keyframe this at uh, one by going up here to the top right clicking on this dot we're going to go here to where the video starts and we're going to change this to 1.1 1 .1. you're making a huge and that's way too fast. So we're going to do 1.04. You're making a huge mistake. We can by see that we got that slow zoom. Then right here, what we're going to do is we're going to change this back to one. Not using a ring light. Ring light. So we can ring. see that we're reset at the value. Then we're going to go here. We're going to go to 1.06. Ring light. Please for the. Then we're going to go here. We're going to change this back to one. So we can see essentially um, if we change this to 1.06 change this to one where the pop-up ends and then at the very end we're going to change it to 1.06 so we can see if we disable this layer we can see that right here it zooms in then it resets then it zooms in when that video fades out then it resets again while the video is playing then it zooms in again resets while we're here and then zooms in finally again and that's literally just how we do slow zooms all throughout i do this in all of my content i have slow zooms and i think that it makes a big difference in terms of the presentation of the video and that's just kind of my best tip that i can give you now when it comes to actually correcting the clip and the appearance of your video the color tab is the best way to do this in davinci resolve so what you can do on this is click on the clip go here to color and if you want more saturation so let's say my video is looking a bit too black and white the colors right here in the background aren't really being brought out as i'd like them to be we can change our saturation to something like 70 and we can see that this brings out the color of my face a lot better the lights are a lot more vibrant the plaque behind me is a lot more gold looking versus if we change this to 50 we can see just how big of a difference it makes i normally stick around 65 70 just to make it um, seem a lot more realistic because once we get into like the 85 range it gets like super vibrant and it looks completely unrealistic so I stick with 70 it makes it a lot more appealing to people's eyes and that's the number one thing if someone doesn't want to watch the video they're not gonna watch the video if their eyes make them want to watch the video they're gonna watch your content I know that's probably hard to understand but trust me it makes sense you probably relate to that too if uh, if you were to think about the TikToks you really watch and why you watch them now the next part of my process is actually transition and I'll quickly show you so if you imagine that we have cut points at every single part where where our video that pops up starts and starts and starts ends i'll show you how to make a transition and then i'll just have the presets so you guys can change them and every preset works the exact same so if you know how to do it based off of what i just show you you'll know how to do it with every single di different type of transition so coming over here to effects we're going to drag in this adjustment clip and we're going to make sure that the middle of it is kind of where this video starts and where our talking head part ends and we're going to go into the fusion tab now from there we're going to go here over to our transitions folder where i have the transitions that i actually put in the google drive you're going to drag in one of the movement transitions and then what you're going to do is you can either disconnect this line connect it to the left side of your blur mo curves or you can literally press shift and drag and drop it in this little line here and we can see the only unfortunate thing is we don't see the transition anywhere if we go through there it's literally just a straight cut still so we have to do something about that so what we're going to do we're going to go back here to the middle point go into fusion bring up your keyframe menu by going here to the top right press this little arrow button here and we can see that these transition uh keyframes are over here so we got to left click select them bring them over to the left as best as we can we can see we actually brought them over because these white hash marks are here we're gonna press the zoom in thing again then we're gonna drag them over so that third keyframe is where our marker just was so we can see down here we have the yellow keyframes that third one is where we want 
the middle point at. So if we go like this, if I change the playback resolution so you guys can see it a lot better, you can see that transition work perfectly. Now, if we were to replicate that by adding a marker just to indicate it, you can see the transitions look perfect. And that's how you do that. Now, imagine you have your transitions. You have the different ones. I have swipe up, down, left, right, down below in the Google Drive for you guys to download. Uh, so they won't all be swipe right like I just showed you guys how to do. Now, you got to move on to sound design. So for my sound design, my main thing is just whooshes and the intro sound effects. So if we come over here to whoosh, I drag in my short whoosh. And if we go to the transition point, I line up kind of like the middle-ish of my whoosh. And if we play it back, by not using by not using we can see that's pretty good. Now, the whoosh volume I set is like 20, negative 29. So we can do that. And then if we go over, we add a marker to where we actually lined it up with. And then if we add that uh if we add that audio to every single time we have a transition line the marker up with the marker of the transition it will be good so we just do that and we do that literally for every single transition just like that and that should be good for that now for the intro like i was saying you if you learn this this is the best engagement tactic i swear ever since i started doing it my tiktoks have started doing a lot better you're going to drag in the anime shine sound effect that i have at the top of the description and you're going to cut it down to where it starts you're making a huge we can see that that's there and then we're going to drag this down to like negative 25 and let me quickly show you how you add the effect at the beginning that you guys see in the beginning of all my tiktoks we're going to drag an adjustment clip to the very 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 top layer now from there you're going to go about 30 seconds in you can see right there not 30 seconds sorry half a second in which lasts about this long now you're going to go here to open effects you're going to go to brightness so hue sat bright and at the very end you're going to keyframe the brightness at one go to the very beginning change it to 1.4 then you're going to go inside of that adjustment layer go in the fusion tab you're going to look up blur mo curves by pressing control and space bar on your keyboard at the very beginning keyframe your z distance at 0.5 go to the very end and change it to one you can see that that this is what the zoom looks like now we go to the spline here activate this press this control a s copy this graph and I know it was a lot to follow along with, but that's how you do the intro effect. And I am a big fan of the way that this looks. Now, lastly, you can add subtitles if you'd like. Um, I personally do mine inside of After Effects, but if you were to add subtitles, all you got to do is literally add a text layer, cut it every time you want to add a different word. And let's just say we go like this, you're making, we let's say are using Akira expanded like I do, change it to yellow and we add like drop shadow to it like that and then if we drag it down say we actually and then all we have to do is literally just change it a uh, huge and you would literally go through change it for everything and that's that now lastly all you got to do is add your background music my personal favorite is no stylist by destroy lonely i use the actual uh instrumental for that song and my main thing is add the beat drop right after the hook so we can see, I'm gonna find the hook. I'm not using a ring light. Ring light, ring light, ring light. light, light, ring light. Please, Bang, right there. That's where we wanna add that beat drop. So we're gonna look for that beat drop in the song. So it's right here. Here, so we're gonna line that marker up with the beat drop. Ring light, ring light. Please, for the love of everything. Then we're gonna adjust the volume to negative 25. And just like that, we're done. That's all you gotta do. And you would just render out your TikTok just like that. But that is how I actually make my own personal TikToks. That's my process from start to finish. Professional, it's free. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys did learn something. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was easy to follow along with, but if you guys wanna see an advanced tutorial, let me know. I'll do Premiere Pro and After Effects. If you guys would be interested in that, let me know in the comments. But like, comment, subscribe. If you guys have any problems whatsoever, leave them down below in the comments. I'll be actively trying my best to answer anyone that has issues and giving advice, help. My DMs are also open on Twitter. I'll have a link to my Twitter at the top of the description. If you wanna reach out with any personal questions, I'm active in my DMs. I always respond to you guys. I help you out with your problems. Problems. But like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys did learn something and good luck on your TikTok journey. Peace out.